think it's actually slightly faster to exit to the left. Although I did, like, let go of the button briefly, and that hesitation probably made it slower. Alright, I know it would have been a blank encounter had I just run into it on the pathway, but I didn't want to spend the battle transition and walking off. I have places to go. We're more than halfway through the episode. Alright, I believe nothing too threatening happens in this first room. Oh wait, no. You are in this room. You can't hurt him with the sword beam! Oh wow, we three-shot them now that we have another level of attack. Hey, eh, magic. I think I do just want to cast shield. And I did have to open the menu again before I could have cast shield again. Or maybe the screen transition would have been good enough. Ah. Ah. <laughs> if you'd just throw in one more high boomerang. And we're through the cave again. This fairy is back. You have to jump on the wooden post. Wait. You have to jump better. Gotta be the best jumper. Man, even though Breath of the Wild has a dedicated jump button, it really doesn't have much platforming. So it was funny, all the articles you'd see on, like, Yahoo and stuff, treating the jump button as revolutionary, like, never before has a jump button been in a Zelda game. It's like, no, you're wrong. Like, even excluding Rock's Feather and Rock's Cape, you're still wrong. Because we've got the best Zelda game here. That's not remotely true. But, um... <laughs> It's not the worst either. And it has historic value. <laughs> it's also a Metroidvania. Normally you think of Zelda games and Metroidvanias as unique categories, but uh, I had a discussion with my friend TurboTales98, and it's actually like really hard if you exclude perspective to tell the difference between a Zelda game and a Metroidvania. And like, once you get to the 3D games, it's like, well... What if you're <laughs> in first-person mode in Zelda? I guess you can't run around in first-person in Zelda. So only when you're aiming. But uh, anyway, yeah, um, the pi primary difference I feel is sort of an atmosphere, and also like, in a Zelda game, you can expect there to be dungeons, and unless it's Zelda 1, each dungeon kind of has a consistent amount of stuff to find in it. Zelda 1 had a couple dungeons that had two items instead of one. Oh. But those are gonna crumble. I don't know, it's just, it's interesting to think about. Oh! The terrain didn't crumble. There was just a free key. Oh, this looks awful. I don't want to jump into that slime and get ninja guided, as Raokel would say. Probably as a lot of people would say. That is the game of getting knocked to your death. Love having that fourth level of attack. Oh. Let's see, so I believe we're still looking for the dungeon item here. No. Oh. I'll just kill you. It's a narrow hallway. Yep. 
And I don't want to be dealing with it in an arrow hallway. Also, this should be shorter than the previous kill against one of these. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I guess what, there's another. Also, I am occasionally hitting forward, because you slide back slightly as you do this. Alright. Found an elevator. Let's go left first, as I usually do. Oh, I'm not sure how much of a fan of this setup I am. At least the snake was stationary. If it had, like, come at me like a bro, um, or rather like an anti-bro, um, eh, there could have been problems. Huh. Oh, I can't break those. Ow. That's super awkward. Can I, like, despawn them? I think I have to leave the room entirely, actually. So we gotta just go. I, I hesitated, because it's like there are fla falling blocks there. I don't want to run into falling blocks. Yeah, got the pee bag. Well, casting shield now wouldn't even help. Alright, 100 points. And we haven't died yet, right? Oh, another one! Oh, I messed up. Alright, now I'm gonna cast shield. Two of those armor guys. Uh, shield, not jump. Was that slime there last time? Hey, the magic. Oh wait, the first one stays dead. Enemies don't just like respawn willy-nilly in this game. Hey, full magic. Casting shield was obviously worth it. The glove! I forget what it does. I think it might be what lets you break blocks in dungeons. Yeah, I saw the blue droplet, so I stabbed it. Hmm. I wonder if there was magic in that statue. Would have needed to cast jump to reach it anyway, though. Yeah, we can break blocks now. Did we need that somewhere in this dungeon? No. There were blocks of that style, but we had no need to get on top of them. Let's see, let's to the right. Nothing. I don't think this game actually does that style of secret where you just like stab an arbitrary wall. I could kill that thing with high jump. Oh. Didn't want to fight the knight and the eye at the same time, so I backed off a little. Ooh, I'm tempted. I still have two lives. As long as I can, like, beat the boss. The boss is probably going to give me enough anyway. Okay, you actually need the dungeon item to beat the dungeon. Fancy that. These arena things are kind of awful. Okay, we did it. Ah. Ah. <laughs> that would have been a room to cast shield in at some point, I think. Let's see, so Tarquin pointed out that if the screen edge is scrolling, they won't bounce off of it. It's actually sometimes kind of hard to make that happen the way you want. Hmm, so we once again have a split path. Do I still have a key? No. I have full magic, we might get magic drops. So I'm sort of incentivized to not be at max MP. Alright, got a key. We probably need it if we take the elevator downward. Ooh, magic. I was talking about that. Do, 
do 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 I don't think breaking that helped me in any way. Ah. Hey, you bag. Oh, that pea bag looks dangerous and not worth it, considering our, our strategy is going to be to level up against the boss. That pea bag's not going to be worth a thousand. Uh, what would I do if I actually do level up before the boss? I'm just going to run from you. We're not... We're not too interested in taking fights. But it's really hard to jump over a lot of enemy types. Oh boy. I would like to get to the boss with full... Well, with an uh, entire life remaining, rather. Not with full health. That's, that's not gonna happen. Okay, what are you, even? I don't remember this boss. May we just attack it anywhere? It's probably the head again. Well, we've got one shot, basically. Oh, it's you. So a couple of heads come off. You're basically blind. Looks like we're highly favored to win, though. Yep, we did it. Oh, only getting 455 XP off the gem is actually kind of a disappointing return. But I mean, it'll go into making our difference between attack levels and non-attack levels even higher. I probably will take a magic level next time it comes up, though. Which will shrink the gap a little. Oh, I didn't realize the temple just got, like, destroyed. Oh, wow. I thought the enemy was moving on. See, so I think we might be able to break the stones on the world map as well. Actually, not sure about that. Not sure what else finishing that dungeon would have let us get to, though. Or rather, getting the dungeon item. I don't like swamps that much. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. This is one more segment of Swamp. Now we are moving fast again. Okay, so... No, I can't break it. I also tried hitting, like, A and B and stuff. Huh. Is there another temple I could get to that I just, like, didn't notice? We're gonna go until the next game over. I might have split the episode at the first game over. So I don't have the boots, I can't walk in shallow water. I think there was only that monster town over in this direction. Although there was possibly like an innocent I didn't talk to. Yeah, this is nothing. Ow. Actually, have I gone to the right here? Wait, there was a pea bag. I've definitely been to the right there. Do 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 do. See, I'm mostly interested in anyone that's hanging out near a building. Yeah, you. I don't think I talked to you. Oh, you found my mirror. Follow me. Will do. Do 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 do. Use this magic to restore your life. Okay, that's a good spell, but it's not progress. The life spell. Sixty mana. 
Let's see, each block is 16. Uh, so... Let's see, 48 would be 3 blocks. And then that's an additional 12. Alright, noted. The cost will of course go down as our magic level goes up. Because that's the only purpose to magic levels. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, that's an especially nice thing to dump whatever magic jars you find into, if you don't have full health. In the Doro Swamp, find a handy glove. I found it. Oh, you say hello, but you're not a monster. Is it only like the right half of town that's monsters? Oh yeah, if I jump in the water, I just die. I guess that would cause our game over. Could quit and play next time. Okay, you're still asleep. I don't think that slime is useful for any purpose, actually. Did I check the town's name, actually? Watertown of Saria. Looking forward to having the boots and just walking around these bridges. I think this is definitely the harder of the two bridges, actually. Uh, yeah, let's let a couple of them pass. Oh, well, that's gonna be how we die. Crossing back and forth between bridges. Isn't there a... yeah. Wait, is it the other way? Oh boy. Should have taken these more cautiously. Hmm. <laughs> I thought there would be something secret. Wait, except... Maybe what I was looking for was to the left, but it's faster to reset the... Oh, wait, it's here. I don't remember where the hint for this is. Bagu is my name. Show my note to Riverman. Alright, we found Bagu. Oh, there are just trap tiles all around his house. Yeah, somebody hints at that in the game, I think, though. I feel like someone tells you to talk to Air, and then Air tells you where Bagu is. Wait, we want the other ridge. Actually, I think we just want a game over now. But if we make it to the town, we get healed. Or if we take this fairy encounter. Alright, this is just gonna be the never-ending episode. We're gonna beat the rest of the game. <laughs> That's not remotely true. I guess I had full magic. I could have cast the life spell. I think it restores, like... Two or three blocks. Yeah. Yeah, I I don't know if what error tells you is how to find Bagu, but I know there's something in the game that changes the error's text to something that's actually useful. Do do do. Oh okay, yeah, Healing Lady was in the second screen of town. Was it you? No, you just talked about the glove. Hello, young fellow. Hello to you. You know Bagu? Then I can help you cross. <laughs> Alright, we can cross. You know Bagu? Oh, just in case you entered the town from the other side. I get it. 
<laughs> and the bridge still comes from that direction. Perfect. Yeah. Just the other sign for the town. Oh boy, this is Death Mountain, isn't it? Yep. I forget what we're actually looking for here. I think we're looking for both the hammer and a heart container? And the hammer lets us break the stones that are on the map. Which will provide a convenient shortcut into the areas we've been going to, rather than having to go through the cave where we needed high jump. Oh boy. Wow. Get him backed against the wall and he's done. This would be way easier to fight with downstab. But we haven't learned to downstab yet. This is in fact the first Zelda game where you learn new sword techniques during the game. Which I believe wouldn't actually come back as a mechanic until Wind Waker? Something like that? I think there was like this like tornado ridiculous super spin attack you could learn in um Wind Waker. Yeah, it's just gonna keep going right, I guess. We need a path that we can still remember next episode. Oh, that was interesting. Uh, or I'm just gonna die and nothing will get explored properly. Wait, I can cast life. One, two, three. Okay. Or was that like two and a half? Well, if I could still cast High Jump, I could probably get that Magic Jar. Oh! I just got murdered by that red guy. Didn't realize how much damage he did. Anyway, that is it for the episode. In the next part, I guess we're, uh, gonna try to explore Death Mountain more. See ya!